Hey everybody, this is how to make a horse steak. I hope you enjoy it. Here we have my lovely girlfriend. Sí, She's making un... tomato salad. Sí, echas un poco de romero a la, a la sartén. Igual entiendes cuando está caliente. This is our sartén. We could call it a frying pan in English. We're going to put a little bit of rosemary and also some rock salt in it. The rock salt keeps the horse from uh, touching the pot entirely and it makes it have a delicious flavor. Is a horse steak. It's amazing. It's enormous. It is about two centimeters thick, a little less than one inch. I got it from the best horse butcher in all of Madrid. We're putting on a very hot skillet for a couple of minutes. Here we go. As you can see, we have the horse steak cooking in the skillet. It's brown on one side. The bone is still uncooked, but we're not going to eat the bone, so that doesn't really matter. It's better to eat meat rare, of course. We're going to give it another minute on this side, and we're done. Okay, so you can see here we have it done on both sides. It is beautiful. It is ready to eat. It's probably rare in the middle still. I'm going to cut it on the cutting board, put it on a couple of plates, and we're balls to the wall. Good to go. Still a little bit raw in the middle. This is horse steak. See how it's all pink in the middle and delicious. We're going to put a little bit of lemon on it, and it's going to be spectacular. Can I picture me or? No, yo me acuerdo la maquinilla para machinar la carne. Mi madre me cocinaba el bistec y ahí pasaba. Yeah. Y esa era la comida cuando no tenía dientes todavía, ¿sabes? Sí, yo, no, yo nunca comía y o sea, en Nicaragua nunca no comía. Muy rápido, tú. Y, y no, entonces me, me quedé chiquito. Pero en, en, fue, cada que viajaba afuera sí, tenía que comer en el colegio. En el colegio me daban comida que crecía. Que crecía. Yeah. Awesome. I should be... Or if I look at Sweden. <laughs>